Hey, that's working, so I can just do that. Perfect. Hey, everybody. Um, I am the man called Ant, and I am doing a bit of a special... Um, do you hear that? I'm doing a bit of a special playthrough. Uh, I haven't done a lot of Twitch streaming. I'm very new to this, but I wanted to do this sp specifically because of uh, personal reasons, which I'm going to explain. Um, I am doing a run-through of Skyrim. I played Skyrim through many times. I enjoyed the heck out of it. And uh, <clears throat> I recently have a reason to play through it again. And that being that uh, my best friend in the entire world, uh, my brother who lives on the other side of the planet, has created a follower. Uh, he created a mod for Skyrim uh, called Skeever. Now, Skeever is a very unique character who will join you from the very beginning of the game apparently till the very end i don't know too much about him he's kind of a mysterious guy i have seen his trailer on youtube which i will put a link to over here over here somewhere i don't know when this goes on youtube i will put links in it to his uh his trailer so you can get a little bit more in-depth look at skeever but my buddy created eight thousand more than eight thousand lines of text for this character um, he does other amazing things. He will fight for you. He will join your party. He will just uniquely discuss things with you. He will answer questions. And most recently, now this is very exciting, you can ask him to read books for you. This is off the hook. This I can't wait to see. So many times I've found those books in those rooms and I've thought, wow, this would be kind of neat to look through. But I don't. I start flipping through the pages and go, bah, pfft throw it in the in the bag because I want to go and hack and slash things. If I had somebody with me that was willing to read it for me or give a summary, wow, this is all part of the latest Skeever update and I'm really excited. So I figured, why not? Let's get right into it. I'm going to do a full Skyrim playthrough with Skeever um, and I'm going to enjoy the crap out of, uh, out of everything that we do. So, I mean, here's a perfect example. Um, you know, Skeever facing down the giant and saying, Ari Argar, your mother. Um, beautiful. What a, what a great line going into this. So without further ado, let us, um, let us, donk, donk, get right into the game. Now, I am playing a modified version, a modded version, obviously, of Skyrim. Um, I have basically, I don't know much about it. I have, I played it when I, last time I played it, it was pure vanilla. Nothing, nothing added, nothing done. Now I have done a bunch of graphical sound, um, game modifications that are very easy to do through Nexus mods at the, um, recommendation and suggestion, um, the guidance of my, my brother. Uh, he, he kind of gave me his personal suggestions, including his own creation that he has spent thousands of hours working on um it's just it's it's baffling i couldn't begin to understand how he does the things he does so i am running a modified version i've also modified the start for those of you that have played the game before you start on a prison cart and you're heading to uh with some other prisoners of war to go get your head lopped off when a dragon intervenes um yay I played through that uh, opening scene so many times, if I saw it again, I would never play the game again. And then I found a mod where you get to pick an alternate ending, or an alternate beginning, I should say. So this time, I am starting off as a, cell, a, a spell sword, a magic user who can also wear heavy armor and use swords and shields, though I don't know why you'd want to use a shield. Um, you want to be able to cast spells with the other hand, but anyway... I'm a spell sword who owns an actual home in Whiterun already. Um, I do have a small amount of money to get the game started, so I'm not starting off with nothing. I'm not starting off with clothing and impoverished. I actually do have a little bit of a head start in the game. I also have a little bit of a head start in the fact that I'm able to pick where I want to start. So I have picked uh, Whiterun because, to my understanding, this is the place that you will meet Skeever. Now, Skeever, again, is this, this crazy companion. Um, knowing my brother and knowing his personality the way I do, I 
can't wait to get this game underway. So without further ado, I'm going to hit continue over here and let's see what we find. All right. Da, da, da. If anybody is here uh, chatting um, and I'm not paying attention to you, I don't know what to say. Sorry. Okay, so this is my house. Um, for those of you that haven't played Skyrim before, um, obviously the graphics are substantially prettier now that uh, all these enhancements have been made in the mod in the mods. Like, I mean, look at that. That's intense. That's awesome. I don't want to walk and fire them. Let's see if we can see me. So here I am. Let's see if I can face the other way. Get the light on me. So. At the moment, just wearing hide armor, hide shield. Uh, I do have a weapon here. Um, once I have the weapon out, I can't see myself anymore, of course. Very basic. Um, just stuff that I bought down the street at the local market. I figured I'd get through all the character creation and all that kind of crap. Because I'm here to, to find Skeever and to showcase him, not to showcase the game or the character itself. So... Let's head on out into Whiterun. Now, this is the cheapest house in Whiterun. Um, you can pick other start points. You can pick... Um, I can't remember which city it's in, but you can pick a mansion, and basically everything that you open in your own house is filled with money. <laughs> so it's, you get a really good start. So here we are. This is my little house, uh, Breeze Home. This is one of the ones that you can, you can buy as you go through the game, but um, I jumped ahead again look at the graphics so nice so crisp so i am looking for now um like i said i've got my weapons set up i probably don't have uh let's see what i got here i've got the battle axe i bought everything before i knew what i was gonna be doing with it um got the hide stuff you know what Let's do a little bit of, of setup here first. Um, oh, wait a minute. Did I not? Is this not the save version? No, it is not. I, I had originally put a bunch of... Uh... Oh, well. Let's do that another time. So here I am running around in town with my axe. Now, I know the game well enough to know that... Uh, this is the Mannered Mare. And look at this. this. This looks fantastic. I want to look around a bit more. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Mercenary work? Yeah, yeah. Talk to you in a minute. Chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my special. That's spectacular. That just is awesome. Especially for a game of this age. I mean, this is not a, a 2015 or 2017 release. So here we are. We are at the Bannered Mare. <laughs> Come on in. We got warm food, warm Whoa. Rain, and warm Get bread. out of my face. They say there's nothing a Nord woman can't do if she puts her mind to it. I'll say. Alright. I'm gonna go first person here so we can see. Now this is Skeever. Got a pretty snazzy hairdo. Some stubble. A bit of a neck beard. Some pacing back and forth. Doesn't have much to say. What else going on here? Again, the, the graphics are white one crazy. Terrible. Shameful is what it is. The gods in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Hmm. That's charming. Okay. All right. Without further ado, we've we've done all this before. She'll give me work. She'll rent me a room. But this is the reason I'm here. Let's do it. I'm the only person speaking oh, right now, don't you? That's not good news. Why dis dismiss my company so easily? No, it's not that. I mean, it's just that if you were the only one talking with me, and I thought three were, there were three of you, sadly that, that means that I don't have three more to drink. Say, you wouldn't have 
happens to have a few septums for a drink, I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Do you have it? <coughs> of course. The ale, the drinks, the <clears throat> septums, you know. Come on, let's drink and have fun. Sure. I have oh, some septums, but so I don't I see any reason to indulge in a drink. Not a judge, but a complete stranger. Oh. Have I not endured my fair share? Lost my treasures? Forfeited my leadership? What else should I do now? Beg? Wow. There's a bunch more going on here than, uh, <laughs> than BCI. My <clears throat> most prized possession. Lavish like nothing else. Priceless, really. Worth more than my weight in gold, that's for sure. Hmm. How did you suffer? A long time ago, I would say I suffered as much as anyone or anything in Skyrim. But after what I have been through, I would rephrase that. Oh, yes, I would rephrase that indeed. It's hard to talk about it, to be honest. Hmm. It sounds like you find it diff. It sounds like you find it difficult to talk about. Is that why you drink? Why yes, and why not? It's not <laughs> like I can fix it. My hands are tied. I have no skill to handle situations. Oh. Don't judge a kid by its father. <laughs> why? Thank you. It's been a long time since someone called me pretty. You are wow. not so bad looking yourself. <laughs> but you are missing the point. Let us get back to the ale and pack. Or the most drunk person ever. Involved. Oh. Don't think it's you magic. No, I wasn't like this before. Words coming out of my mouth, which I did not intend to. Usually drunk without thinking. Drunk without drinking. Well, I may have had a drink or two, but that's beside the point. There is some kind of magic at work. Things are not as they seem, my friend. My story is nothing but plain. <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of all this. this I like really am not. Interesting. That just proves my point even further. You're making no sense. Well, I don't know. I'd paint my cows, cows if I had cows. That's completely normal. I assure you. See? <laughs> but it's a little bit crazy. And I'll tell you another thing. Hey, that's strange. I get this peculiar feeling. No longer drunk. Huh. Oh, hello. It's actually, you do that sound less drunk. Curious. Did you do anything? You? I told you so. I get drunk each time I enter an inn or a tavern. As soon as I enter a drinking hole, I pretty much lose control over myself. For some bizarre reason. I don't feel like that now. I've met and spoken to pretty much anyone you can think of. For this hmm. reason, I think you have something to do with my uh, condition, since no one else had such influence on me. Whatever the case may be, this is, uh, well, new. Interesting. So, when Skeever walks into a bar, he gets drunk just by being in there. But for some reason, as he hangs out with me, he becomes more sober. I'm listening. Oh, well, maybe it's, is it this tavern or is it other taverns? Hold it right there. If you are suggesting that I would come with you, I would have you know I am for hire. Oh, wow. What you got? Well, to be honest, I never thought so far ahead. I mean, I have a sword, and I will use it when you are in need of my help, so you pay for it. And don't forget to pay for my stay in inns as we travel. Uh, food and drinks are also your responsibility. Nice. 
No. So you are simply going to take advantage of my situation and have me help you for no payment whatsoever? Oh, no, I'll pay you. Wow. You sure are a generous type. Can you at least pay for drinks? There you go. Yeah, I'll share my loot with you. I see. Well, that I'm I wonder in the dynamic of the game, you actually get less fair. loot because you're sharing the skeever. Interesting. Uh, but if I get drunk without drinking as usual, I will be off on my own way. All right. So what's your name? Skeever. Where? Where what? Where is he, Skeever? I don't. For those of you who don't know, skeevers are the little, well, actually the giant rats in the game. I did, but I met my name. My name is Skeever. There you go. Hmm, okay. I am also filled with joy by meeting your pleasant company, which hopefully pays off more in loot than I think it does. <laughs> I will make a note to remember your perceptual skills. If it is a weird name. Times, you'll get used to it. Uh, now. Are you going to display additional facial expressions, or can we get going? Okay. I don't really need anything. Like I said, I set my character up. He's got all this crap that he needs right now. If not, if anything else, I'm going to go drop off some crap in my house. But I think we can I'm get right going. right behind you. Ever watching. That's a creepy way of saying that. Ever watching. I said I'm right behind you. Footprints matching. You know, on account of being careful. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna wander around, listen to music. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Oh yeah. Okay. So that is Skeever. Let's see if Skeever actually does like physically follow me around everywhere I go. Where is he? Seeing him. Do, do, do. I did tell him to follow me. What a guy. Well, I'm going to go here first. And maybe I have to go back and get him and tell him to come with me. That's weird. But, uh, all right. Some business first. I want to. Here and put that there. Yeah, gotcha. There we go. You, I will. There we go. I'll take the dagger. Okay. I wanted you over there, dumbass. Oh well. There we go. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Jesus. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. This woman just follows me around. That's creepy. Didn't notice that before. I mean, she Can't was in my face in the bar, but uh. Do your good deed for the dead. Where are you, boy? All right. First things first, though. I want to get some magic going. Um, all I've got is flames. I am a fledgling, and I want uh, that on left hand. There we go. So now I'm done. So that now when I draw my weapon, I've got flame. Wait a minute. It's and bubbles for sale. Thanks. I need my rax. There we go. Oh, crafted by the best my blacksmith. All right, so I've got my. Flame and axe spells handy, but let's not have those out going into the banner. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, you come with me, bud. Are you ready to go? What? Oh, you actually met right now? Okay, let us go then. All right, all right. So now, Skeever, you follow me? You follow me? Come on, you follow me around. If it's work you're looking for, Hilda's the one to talk to. Okay, well. Live another life. Blah, blah, blah. Save up, manage, save up and secure the deed to a home. Da, 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 da. Basically, this is how I start my new life. This is my mission. Okay. So I have no missions. I have nothing on the go right now. So 
Let's uh let's start off simple. Want me to drink, speak to Holga. Oh. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what Yeah, do you she need? told me. Um let's see what can work. Take a look at this. Some of the yard's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right. Kill the bandit leader located at Halted Stream Camp. Gotcha. Uh-oh. I see the spark in your eye. You agree? Good. This is a local favorite that is one of the first songs I ever know. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero Need anything Ragnar else? Just let me know. So I take it you're in. Look at that. Would you mind reading something for me? But I don't have anything to read. Let's see what he's got. What do you got there, Skeevy? No, can't do that either yet. Oh well. Okay, we got a mission. Let's go. Coming. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more. All right, well, no, you seem to be all right. Let's go. All right, my first mission with Skeever. There he is, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that, ready to go. If I draw my weapon, you do too. Perfect. But well, let's not. All right. Now, Skeever is a follower, so technically I can't change his armor and weapons to my understanding. He takes care of that himself. Alright, so let's go to the map. We need to get somewhere for our mission. No, we don't want that. Uh, oh, okay, Helga. So that's where we gotta go. So we've gotta head out a white run and make it all through there. Okay. You are very intimidating, my friend. Thank you. Kind of you to notice. All right. We're heading to Helgen. Heading to Helgen. Grab me up a horse. I wonder what happens when I have a horse? Does he fall so slowly behind? I was curious to know, right? Like I said, I've played this game a lot when it was the, the in thing, but God, it did not look like this. Wow. Unbelievable. All right. There we go. Down to here. Ski where you can find your own way down. I'm not gonna steal a horse. I have money. I own a house. I'm a property owner. Got the fleet of steeds and all. Suppose so. Suppose got one so. Saddled, if you've got the coin. Sure. I'll give you a thousand you bucks. The deal. It's the one with the saddle. Hey, Skeevy. I don't care how old your horses Ride are. Strong. Look at this guy. He looks pretty beastly. All right. Get on, Skeever. Come on, buddy. No? Alright, well, let's see what happens when I trot along. And yeah. Well, then again. We're going to go straight to. The nah, I was going to say we could probably take the cart. And then just go straight to the mission. Well, let's see. Hey, buddy. I can take you to any of the whole capitals. Where do you want to go? Uh, do you go to Helgen? No, you don't even go there. So, sorry. That's fine. All right. No, I can't. Oh, watch him. Hey, come on, buddy. We're gonna have to go this the slow way now. Helgen. 
White Red Wind Helm. Why nobody likes Helm? They should put it on their I guess this is it, bud. That's rude, actually. Sorry, dude. Whacking cows with your bare hands that's close to nothing. Don't look at me. It doesn't matter how I know about it. Oh, we know how you know about whacking cows, buddy. Okay. So I've got to get up. Job escorting the prisoner. People in Whitebird City must all live on Kale alone. I have not seen a single one of them use their wealth. There he is. He's hiking along. I wish I could buy you a horse, bud. Uh oh. Helgen right there. Just as outlandish as this. Have you really? There we go. Alright, now that's gotta be Helgen. Why are you fishing around? Hello. I'm not drunk. Too bad. Well, this is Riverwood. This is not Helgen. I'm well on my way, though. Okay. Let's see if you have anything to say about uh, Riverwood. Follow me then. Don't seem to have much to say about Riverwood. That's okay. Alright, onward and upward. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess this is the way to go. I think I can get through around here, maybe? Maybe? No. Uh... Hello. So with me, Skeever? Oh, there he is. Uh, 
<coughs> well. Hello. Okay, well that solves that. Want your lock picks um Yeah. Don't need your stuff. But I do want to go visit your friends. Come on, Skeever. Alright, buddy. We got your sword out, good to go. Since I am dual handing it here with the weapon and the spell. Oh, jeez. You alright, bud? <coughs> alright, so he seems to be okay. You can either. Bud, are you gonna come with me here or what? Anything, Skeever, help yourself, bud. All right. You know, there is no shame in purchasing lockpicks in good stores. Many adventurers need them when exploring ruins. This is true. Oh, yeah, he swims too. Well, you are also a spell sword, my friend. You would assume that this fine is very well constructed. You may even consider spending the night. I wonder what brings you to such a thought. Here. Oh, looks like over there. Tell me, my Should dear first friend, person? what is on your mind? Or maybe you just... I wonder if I can get you to read that to me. Fine. What do you want me to read? Which one? Maybe we don't. Well, let's see. I never understood why bandits take hold of mines. I mean. It is a lot of hard work. Wouldn't it be more prudent to ambush the miners outside after they work hard and mine the ore? Well, I guess even bandits need a place to sleep. I suppose so. Yeah. Rob them outside, then they do the work of carrying it out. I want to see if I can get you to read that for me, though. Fine. What do you want me to read? What did I just pick up? Which Where? one? No, nope, I guess that particular one isn't readable, or maybe I'm doing it wrong. We'll figure it out. All right. So where are we here? Oh, here we go. Are you in the mood to mine ore again? You seem to be spending a lot of time in these mines. <laughs> well, you know, a little ore here and there. No, I'm gonna come pull this.
ski buddy or stand right on the bandit? No. Here. And you'll fall in here. Come on, bud. There we go. All right. Now well, we got that opened up. What is the accurate to say that she's not running? At this stage, I would say it's more than just a habit. Running is good for you. Sword. Eh, the value isn't worth the weight. Keeping in mind that I'm a relatively wealthy. Don't mind me. <laughs> Honey. It's just a bucket. <clears throat> Come on. All right. So far, this weapon that I bought um, Mines are usually is very overpowered. Its for or its very easy for me to take out the baddies. Oh, we know what that is. Team damage, team damage. Sorry, bud. of loose money lying around. I assume you brought your pickaxe with you. Don't mind me. You just find a way. What are we here? Oh, look at that. Okay. I wonder if Skeever can pick locks. Good weight, or good uh, value, but a lot of weight. Nice. What are you doing, bud? Dancing? I think we're pretty much. I can go any further other than down into the water. Skeever wisely does not jump off. He will take the long way around and beat me 
get the ball. I think you should have mentioned something about your running habits at the manor fair. It would have probably affected my choice to join you. <laughs> Too late now. In for a penny, in for a pound, bitch. All right. Sorry, Skeever's not a bitch. I like Skeever. Uh, did I look in here? Nice axe. All right, Skeevy, I think we got everybody in here. I don't think there's anybody up to, to hunt down. We've gotten all the stuff. Let's keep moving on. Yeah, it looks like we pretty much got her cooked up here. Okay. I do like this combination. All right. here um, can we get over the ridge from here we are moving up the key is to get over the ridge right let's see do you finally say Helgen Helgen hey there we go Sorry, horse. Well, that was interesting. Dead fox. <clears throat> Neat. All right. with me? Oh yeah. This is Helga. I'm taking the back door. Oh, hello. I'm going to leave you alone. Don't really have any good distance weapons for fighting dragons with yet. I should have followed the road. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Good horse. Wasn't there a road to get into Helgen here? And then I was distracted by Mr. Dragon. You guys can't enter on the horse. Get off the horse to Jeez, thanks, bud. I used to think that paying experts for training in a certain field was worthwhile, but then Hello? All right, we are in Helgen. Ah yes, this is pre dragon attack Helgen. This makes sense. Get you back to the original storyline. Guess who has the strongest legs in Skyrim? Glimmer. Who? <laughs> I hope he says that one again. That was funny. All right. If you throw an ale bottle away, well, that depends. If it's empty, I get it. 
Dragon attacked. Right up here, through here. This looks like it. in a moment. I don't know, I took my headphones off. They are wireless. All right. That's all I needed. Okay, so we are at Helgen Keep. But this is not where I need to be for, for um, the mission. Maybe they're outside Helgen Keep. There's not much going on in Helgen Keep right now. Hmm. You know what? We're going to have to look into this one. Even Skeever doesn't want to follow me over here. Or is he following me? No. Isn't that odd?
This appears to be the spot. Oh. That's who I was looking for. Read the journal. Okay. Skeever, where are you, buddy? Now I got something for you to read. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's go read it. Uh, books. Is it the Adventurous Journal? Mm -hmm. Investigate the cave mentioned in the journal to war or warn residents of Rivet about the dragon attack. Ah. Hard to believe I filled up the whole journal already. Never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. Skeever, buddy. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to wait until I find Skeever because I want him to read that to me. The Adventurer's Journal. But for now, I have a new mission. And for that... Take away that custom destination later. Um, I gotta go up there. All right. How to get there? There he is. Took you a while to get here, bud. Nice to you. Let's see if you can do it now. What do you want me to read? Which one? Oh, how do we do? Well, maybe he doesn't read those yet. There's certain books he reads, but uh, maybe he doesn't read that one yet. Anyway. Okay, buddy, we got a new mission. But right now, I'm going to stop the stream. And we're going to come back to this at a later date. Today's stream was a test run, essentially. Um, I wanted to meet Skeever. I wanted to check him out. And I wanted to, to get a, a base feeling for him. So far, he sounds amazing. He's hilarious. I, I love everything that he's saying. He does tend to talk <clears throat> sometimes when other people are talking. So I do have to kind of pay attention to make sure I catch everything but this is turning out to be very very fun um, I will be posting these on my YouTube channel search for Sir Ant um, if you would like more information about that uh, and I'll be doing replays I will be doing um, kind of walkthroughs like little snippets of the the funniest things that I encounter with Skeever but uh, yeah here we are. I have found Skeever. We are well on our way. I'm going to save the game now. I've got to do a little bit of stuff, and then we will rejoin this adventure later on both Twitch and YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will do it all again very soon.